Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, we will be looking at how to upload the digital planner that we have learned in the previous video into OneNote. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is a continuation of how to save your PowerPoint as a PDF and upload this into a OneNote. If you want to know how I created this PowerPoint, please click on the link in the description box below or on the link on the right hand side. Now that we have created this, I'm going to go ahead and save this as a PDF. I'm going to replace what I saved. Just give it a minute. So here I have my PDF automatically saved on my desktop. Now let's go ahead and take a look. But if you look carefully, this PDF is also interactive. When I click on Jan, here you go. When I click on June, I go all the way back to June. You can upload this into your LMS and present it to your students this way. They can print it out or they can use it as a PDF as well. But now let's go ahead and see how you can upload this into OneNote. So here I am in my OneNote. I'm gonna go ahead and add a section saying digital planner 2021 once that's done i am going to insert as a printout digital planner it's inserting as a printout so here it has been inserted as a printout as you can see i have the cover page and i have the month of jan i have the month of february i have the month of march if you are happy with it you can just leave it like this but please make sure you go ahead and delete this so students are not confused as to what they should be clicking on. But I highly recommend if you just want to keep it to one page, you might want to go ahead, right click and save each of them as a background so students cannot edit them. But if I don't, students can actually go ahead and move things around. You don't want to do that. Or you can take one step further, right click, cut every month and paste it and I'm going to call this the month of Jan. Right click if you want to expand this so that students can see and then set it as a background. Here you have the month of Jan. Let's go ahead and do one more month. Here is the month of February. I cut it. New page. Feb. And I paste it. I expand it just a little bit and then set it as a background. Now, once that's done, students can go ahead, write whatever they want, or they can insert stickers. Where are my stickers? Right here. They can insert stickers using the stickers inside OneNote. So there are multiple things our students can do with this digital planner. This is a good way of encouraging your students to be organized in the year of 2021. So as you can see, here is a digital planner that I've created. I have Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, and August. Again, in this description box below, I'll give you a raw file for your PDF where you can edit the colors, you can edit the writings, you can edit however you want. So please feel free to download, edit, and then save it as a PDF and upload it into your OneNote. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might really want to make sure the students are organized. And always remember, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.